All right, so today's quiz is which absurd Tumblr band word are you? I know, like many people, I am a Tumblr user. I've been kind of hit with the whole band thing. Like, it hasn't affected me so far, actually, but I am an iPhone user, so we'll see how it goes in the future. The thing is, though, Tumblr always makes horrible decisions regarding their platform, and people are still on it, so we'll, we'll see how that whole situation plays out, but let's get into it here. Question one is choose a popular Tumblr Tumblr post slash joke. Option one is color of the sky. I know Tumblr kind of has a history of trying to force memes in a way. I never really found the color of the sky all that natural of a meme, which is kind of a weird thing to say, but you know what I mean. Option number two is how thick can the one slur get? I'm not fully sure what this is supposed to be referring to. If it's just the whole one slur Tumblr man experience or like the Germa style edits of the one then I'm not really into that whole thing. Like, I know Tumblr doesn't have a great history with much of anything, really, but that whole scene especially was kind of concerning to me. Not really concerning in, like, a moral outrage, but just kind of, as someone not directly participating in that particular sub-scene of Tumblr, it's kind of, like, disconcerting to look at from an outside perspective. The third and fourth options... I'm sure everyone's familiar with. We have the B-movie script and Rickrolling, which I don't know, they may have started on Tumblr. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the B-movie whole thing started on Tumblr, but I don't know how much they really count as Tumblr memes, per se. That being said, I do appreciate both of them. More so the B-movie script. I don't know if this is asking for it or anything, but I never really found Never Gonna Give You Up all that bad of a song. Like, it never really bothered me getting Rickrolled, so. The whole Delaware post, I think in the middle it gets kind of forced, but at the beginning at the end, like at the version I read, I think it's really good. Like, I think there's a certain kind of, like, chaos that works really well with Tumblr, and I think it really hones into that niche. So I'm going with Delaware. And here we go. Like I was saying before, question two is asking you to choose a Tumblr man. Option one is the Onesler, which overall he just kind of has Minecraft YouTuber vibes to me. Like I don't have anything against Minecraft YouTuber, but it's not the aesthetic that I would go for personally. Option two is Willy Wonka. Now there's like two main versions of Willy Wonka that are kind of like you think of. The first one is um, the Gene Wilder version, which kind of embodied, like, the drawings in the original books. I like him as a character, but I don't. He doesn't really have the right kind of vibes to be, I think, a Tumblr man. Like, I'm pretty sure they're referring to the Johnny Depp version which I don't like for a few reasons. I didn't like the second movie as much as the first. Overall, it wasn't bad, but I don't think it has the same... I don't think it had quite the same bite. Secondly, I don't really like the design as much of the newer Willy Wonka, like the glasses particularly. The sunglasses are just, I don't know, kind of bad vibes. But And then, like, playing into that, I know there was the whole TikTok, some guy cosplaying him, like, that was a whole thing. I just kind of has a creepy vibe. I don't know. I don't- I'm not into any of that. Third option is Sherlock. I'm guessing by Sherlock they mean Benedict Cumberbatch, who I don't want to be bullying celebrities in my videos, but he's got such an odd facial structure. I don't know. No shame on the guy. No shame on you if you like him, but I don't- I can't really get into that. Fourth option is one of the doctors from Doctor Who, and by this I'm guessing they're referring to, uh, Either David Tennant or Matt Smith, or maybe Christopher Eccleston. I know Christopher Eccleston's supposed to have good vibes on Twitter, so I've heard. Don't quote me on that. And I like uh, David Tennant's whole, like, aesthetic, just in general, so... I could, like, actually go with this as an option. And the last option is IDFC, but given that I kind of vibe with the doctor, so I'm gonna go with that. Question three is I like your shoelaces. If you don't get this reference from Tumblr, consider yourself lucky, basically. Um, in that vibe, I don't... I'm just gonna go with death stare, like... The second option here is what you're supposed to go with. I don't want to read it out loud, I don't want to have that soundbite of me for Tumblr, 
but and uh, the first option here i don't i don't get i think they're trying to be funny but i don't think they succeeded at it so let's just the less we have of this on the screen the better i think Question four is choose a popular Tumblr blog. Option one is Neil Gaiman, who I do follow. I He is good at Tumblr comedy, but he mostly does, like, writing advice and stuff. It's understandable. I appreciate it, actually. He is very good at it, but, you know, it's not always the kind of thing that I'm looking for. His Tumblr jokes are funny, and his overall content's pretty good. The second option is The Booty Diaries, who I also follow on Tumblr, and I really like her stuff. She's good at like, she was like smooth sharking before it was a thing and I really appreciate her for that. Third option is Biggest Gaudiest Patronuses, which they're one of the like really big tumblers. I don't dislike them per se, but they have kind of a, not to go hipster, but kind of a too mainstream like of the tumbler comedy kind of vibe. Like I do appreciate the Tumblr style of comedy, but it can get a little too, like, oversaturated. I don't know how much of it is really their fault, but I know God tends to kind of get into the middle of that kind of saturation, so. Gay Arsonist, I think, is a little more niche. I think they're a little less, like, out of the center, so I think their content is a bit more appealing to me, but overall they have similar kind of vibes. I don't dislike them per se, but it's, you know, a similar situation to God. And for Ash, I don't follow their blog as closely like i've seen a couple of their posts but overall i don't really know a whole lot about them so i'm gonna go with the booty diaries question five is choose an alternate social media they have instagram tiktok facebook and twitter i'm tiktok has a lot of problems with it i don't i'm not a big fan of tiktok overall but i still to this day don't get instagram at all and facebook and twitter and i've heard instagram to a lesser degree are all kind of like really similar samey and i know politically both facebook and twitter have just become a total mess so i'm gonna go with tiktok just because I like I know there is a big political scene on TikTok that is also a mess, but I know there's like a sub scene that isn't or not to as bad of a degree as well. So yeah. Question six is choose a band word that is not a result for this quiz. I mean there are a few words on here that I don't want as sound bites, but going th through them all, um, just like scanning them visually. I'm wondering about drool first off. Like I know out the tags, most part, are just done by popularity, and so there's not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to why a given tag will be banned, but also given Tumblr, given the nature of Tumblr, I'm wondering if it's like a fetish thing per se, like like I'm guessing the surrounding elements are. Really any of these could feasibly be a fetish thing except for maybe mine and reblog. And I'm not fully sure what mine is supposed to be referring to. I guess it's a tag so you can use it in whatever way you want, but I'm wondering would it be used more for like Minecraft? Cause like I can't imagine having something and like posting it on a photo of it on Tumblr and taking it as mine. Maybe in a fetish way too. I'm just gonna go with uh, reblog to like avoid that whole situation. Question seven is this is important. Who is your Spider Man? I only saw the Raimi version so I'm gonna have to go with Tugboat Toby here. Like I can't really comment on the other options because I don't know who they are really. So let's see what we get. And I got the result single parent which is kind of a foreboding result. And I'm kind of in the middle here of the road which I'm overall I'll go with it. Like it looks pretty high up but all the lower ones are like of similar percent. I like how the tags range from like pretty like reasonable things that shouldn't be banned like about me or Q and then you have just like some very suspect ones so overall this was nice this was topical so I'm just gonna go with five stars as always. This is probably going to be a shorter video. I don't know why I'm telling you this you know how long it is but I don't have an explanation either I just thought I would make you painfully aware of how short this video was.